Yes, we need to make a list, figure out what the plans are, future plans and everything for this chainsaw right here. There, yes, there are a ton of them on YouTube of, you know, what people have done. What uh, they put anything from leaving them stock to mild porting, decking, decking the cylinders and stuff like that. I mean, going full on chopping the heads off, custom heads, stuff. And you can see why this is an absolute good saw to do that with, simply because they're cheap, but they work. The 372 XP has been just one of those chainsaws that has made its name in history. So, this one right here, I've been kind of brainstorming and it's time to make a list of what to do for this. So, and we'll see what time does and what my limited tools and everything do and stuff like that. But what I do know this does have on it, this came from Jeremy Bell. You can see the unboxing video. You should check that out. Um, came from him. So what it does have, it has an OE carb on it. You put on an OE carb and an OE coil. So those are the good things that we can start with on that and everything. And this does run. It does all that and everything. I don't know if it's ever actually made a cut. It, it appears it didn't. Um, I guess this came in a lot of saws, like a dealer or something, and all he did was just take parts off of them. So, and then Jeremy ended up getting them or something like that. So, now I get to mess with this one. I don't, I don't even think, no, there's not even a bit of wood dust. So this has never made a single cut. So, what I want to do is first find a bar and chain, we'll make a stock cut and everything. And then make a few stock cuts. And we'll see if anything I do actually makes it faster or if it just for looks, you know. But plans are for this. So write some stuff down. Everything that everybody sees first. First thing people want to do on these is a muffler mod. You know, you got this tiny little exit on the muffler. That's it. Like ink pen size. So you got this little thing on here. So there's the idea of a muffler mod. So one, we could mod the muffler. You know, put in a bigger one, definitely a bigger one here. I've seen people put them out here. I've seen duels put out here and stuff. So you can do that. So we'll mod the muffler. But what I also want to ultimately do is put a pipe on this. I want to put a tuned pipe or at least an expansion chamber, I should say. Um, the exact same one that is on my Pro Max 700 that I put. Guys use them for these with excellent results. So that'll be something that I will also do. So these are not ex in necessarily in order. Um, expansion chamber. So we got expansion chamber set up. And of course, you guys can put down in the comments anything that I miss or what you recommend or what you've seen do and everything. So um, when it comes to the to the cylinder and everything here, we're talking a porting. We got porting. Porting, possible gasket delete at least, you know, base gasket. Yeah, no, my tan writing is absolutely terrible. It, it was never good as a kid, and even as an adult, it sucks. Um, so base gasket delete. Um, we got to do some, also, when it comes to the... Uh, Cylinder, there's little, there's at the bottom this bait cylinder and everything like that. You, there's an area, and uh, it's hard to explain. I really have to have a cylinder in hand for one of these and everything. Um, but you cut those off, and supposedly it helps with throttle response significantly. So I don't know what the squish is on this one yet. I thought about asking somebody I know uh, if I send them this cylinder, measure it out, send them to it, and uh, pay them to. Uh, do a little bit, at least a removal of the, uh, get a tire squish on it. So, you know, at least the base gasket lead. And what I can do, I should say, I kind of want to build this to what my, my limits are or whatever, what I'm able to do. Um, another thing that I really like doing on these, and you guys have seen in the videos, is design velocity stacks. 
filter is a big one that guys do on these. You know, this doesn't have one on it. It didn't come with it. But what I want to do is build a velocity stack, possibly put a filter on it. Okay. Uh, one that I could do a removal and everything. So 90 degree and everything. And I think some guys, I think they're already made those or whatnot, but at least they made it to where you could put the pods on it or whatever. But uh, end up cutting, we can end up cutting this whole back part out here and cut the back part out and put a filter or velocity stack where you can just look right into it. So that's an idea with the stock carb setup. So we can just do a velocity stack. We can design something and everything. V stack. Velocity stack that. That should help out. Um, these carburetors, uh, Jeremy, he runs actually one of these stock carburetors on the Alki saw. All he did was drill it out to handle alcohol. You gotta go about 30% bigger because it takes 30% more alcohol to run. So he runs that. Uh, he tried doing a larger carburetor and for some reason it would not respond for him. It would not work. So maybe we can also try a bigger carb. Just see what we can do. Like bigger carb. And we'll put a question mark behind that. Like just, there's racing, overkill firewood saw. I love using like a just overkill speed for firewood saw. It's just something that gets people's attention. You know, another one of those things, you're somewhere, you're at saws and stuff. And of course, you know, you see an expansion chamber or, or you hear something different. Somebody's guys red and then you turn your head. You're like, what is going on over there? And you just have to walk and find out. And then you get the story and everything. So kind of the plans for this one here, like I say, we'll uh, modify that cut it out here it's going to be some it's going to be a lot of work probably going to be a lot of off-camera work on this but so definitely try to do that um a flywheel which probably go with an oe flywheel because that's something jeremy also did too because you don't want one of these exploding apart and everything and uh I don't think this has the, uh, I, this doesn't have an OE. He didn't tell me it did. So that is probably more of a number one kind of thing. If you're going to really be revving these up or doing something dumb, like I'm going to be doing and everything. So, I mean, what else do you guys do? I'm going to keep the brake on it just, just because it's there. Mine as well. But I have never messed with, I have, I have taken apart there's a few models of McCullough that were made that have the uh, cylinders that are removable up here. And those were the early gear drive style. So I have messed with some that have the removable on it. Now McCulloughs were dumb. They didn't have bolts that go through the top that you could just take it through like zhur, 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 and pull it out. No, they didn't have that. You had to still take things apart quite a bit to be able to get to nuts on four corners. One of them was a stud get a nut to where you could get a wrench in there, take it off. And that was quite nice to be able to do that kind of thing. But other than that, that was the only time I've ever messed with something outside of their clamshell design. You know, this will be a first right here for me. And Jeremy says, you're absolutely, I'm absolutely going to love this because of how, uh, how quick you could take things apart on it and stuff. And it, to me, it looks a little intimidating, but I've never torn into it. So but I've got the speed wrench. I just take this top off here. I've watched a few videos and stuff like that. And I'll go over porting and everything, seeing porting stuff and whatnot. And I may order some cheap cylinders. Oh, is that supposed to wobble like that? Yeah. Yeah, this is anti-vibration. See, I don't know. I don't know these things, people. I, I don't mess with them. I, I'm not saying I don't want to mess with them. Obviously, I do. Third generation of machinery. That's cool. So we've got a little bit of a list here on what to do and everything and whatnot. If you guys have any comments, you have any videos you want to see, stuff your saws or anything you want to show off, go ahead and uh, let me know. You can find me on Instagram to message me stuff, show me pictures of it and everything, help guide me. I'm here. I'm an open ear. I'm an open book. I'm pretty much blank. All right. Fill in this notebook. You know, I, I love learning about things and stuff, and we're good. We'll be back to McCullough's, I promise. But I always said I wanted to modify one of these. I know other guys have done it. I want to join in on the fun. I want to see what the hype is. 
I have yet to run one of these racing. I have yet to even cut with one of these. So lots and lots to do here and everything. So this is just a quick video on future stuff we've got going. So it isn't a big surprise, but I hope you guys can like say comment on on it. You can, I got Instagram. You can message me. You can find me on Facebook. I'm a call Chain Saws North America. You can find me in Hopper Nation, Modified Saws, which is my group I made. And a pretty good group right there. And a lot of inspiration was coming from it. I seen guys just cutting with them. Like, I got to get one of these now. And everything. So am I going for the fastest? No. Am I going for fun? Yeah. You know, so. All right. Well, like I said, I'm a little limited on time today and stuff like that, but we I've got many videos coming up. We've got the other cart engines. Terry Ives, he said he got them. It'll be a few weeks before he gets them done and gets it sent to me and everything. So we'll have be able to continue on the project up project uh 98%, the Super Pro 125 101B. Uh we'll have the MC30, which I have plans for that and everything. Um, I think you guys are going to like that if everything goes correctly in my head. That's going to be a little bit of a longer term build there. That might be ready by end of summer, fall, depending on how things go. But just stick around and we're going to keep on keeping on here and whatnot. Um, I do got to get something engineered for somebody and everything. He asked me if I can make a space or so. Just remember, I got to do that. But all right, I'm yammering on. Like I say, this is just a short video. Let me know what you think. Any guidance is more than welcome on this one. I am like say an open ear and uh, yeah, hopefully we don't trash this one. I know meteor top ends are good from what I'm seeing. So if I do run them, get those, don't go too cheap on it. But uh, yeah, so I right. say thanks for watching and uh, stay safe everybody.